अभी हम ही सभी लोग सोशल मीडिया की स्वतंत्रता मानते हैं लेकिन स्वतंत्रता के साथ साथ जिम्मेदारी भी आती है और इस तरीके की कोई गैर जिम्मेदार कृति करता है तो उसको ठीक तरीके से रोकने के लिए एक अच्छा कानून भी जरूरी होता है और इसलिए मुझे लगता है कि जो अगर सचिन तेंदुलकर और लता दीदी अगर एक अलग तरीके के दबंग नेता तो होते थे तो शायद ये तन्मय की हिम्मत नहीं होती थी और क्योंकि वो कला क्षेत्र से इसीलिए ये लोग बार बार इस तरीके से उनके बारे में भाषा कर रहे हैं इसके पहले भी इन्होंने यही हरकत की है तो मुझे लगता है सरासर विचार स्वातंत्र और उच्चार स्वातंत्र इसका ये गलत तरीके से इस्तेमाल कर रहे हैं और इसलिए इसके बारे में गवर्नमेंट को ही खुद होकर कदम उठाना जरूरी है इसी तरीके का मेमोरेंडम मैंने एक मुंबई पुलिस को भी भेजा है और मेरी अपेक्षा है इसके बारे में कि सरकार जरूर कदम उठाएगी हमने अभी एक पत्र देके शिवाजी बाग पुलिस स्टेशन में तन्मय भट्ट को तुरंत अरेस्ट किया जाए ऐसी हमने मांग की है तन्मय भट्ट ने जो वीडियो अपलोड किया था सोशल नेटवर्किंग साइट पर उसका वो निंदनीय है उसका निषेध होना चाहिए सारे स्तर से निषेध होना चाहिए और मुझे ऐसे लगता है उन्होंने कल एक रात को ट्वीट किया था कि ये वीडियो एक मजाक था और वो भी लता दीदी और सचिन तेंदुलकर का सम्मान करते मुझे ऐसे लगता है कि अगर ऐसा है तो वो अपने माता पिता का ऐसे वीडियो बना के अपलोड करें सचिन तेंदुलकर और लता दीदी जिनको हम मानते हैं जिनको हम भगवान की जगह रखते हैं जिनको हम पूछते हैं उनके बारे में ये आक्षेप आ चीज़ हम बिल्कुल बर्दाश्त नहीं करेंगे और तन्मय भट्ट को हम यहाँ पर उसके शोज नहीं होंगे उनको हम जहाँ भी दिखेंगे उनको हम मनसे सेल से पीटेंगे जैसे अभी हमने पुलिस ऑफिसर से बात की है वैसे हम साइबर सेल से भी मांग करेंगे कि इस तरह का वीडियो आप तुरंत डिलीट डिलीट करें तन्मय भट्ट को तुरंत अरेस्ट करें और इसके आगे ऐसे कोई वीडियो अपलोड करता है उसके ऊपर सख्त से सख्त कार्रवाई हो सचिन तेंडुलकर और लता दीदी जिनको हम मानते हैं जिनको हम भगवान की जगह रखते हैं जिनको हम पूछते हैं उनके बारे में ये आक्षेप आ चीज़ हम बिल्कुल बर्दाश्त नहीं करेंगे और तन्मय भट्ट को हम यहाँ पे उसके शोज नहीं होंगे उनको हम जहाँ भी दिखेंगे उनको हम मनसे साल से पीटेंगे बिल्कुल ये एक मानसिक विकृति हमें लगती है और इस पर जो है पुलिस ने जो है हरकत में आना जरूरी है दोनों भी हमारे लिए बहुत ही सम्माननीय है भारत रत्न लता दीदी हो या भारत रत्न सचिन तेंदुलकर हो उन्होंने एक मुकाम पे इस देश को पहुंचाया है पूरे दुनिया भर में इनका नाम है और इस प्रकार की व्यक्ति स्वातंत्र के नाम पे अगर इस प्रकार की इन सम्माननीय व्यक्ति यही नहीं और भी किसी के भी बारे में अगर इस प्रकार का कोई भी होता है वाक्य तो उसके लिए पुलिस ने इस पर तुरंत कार्रवाई करनी चाहिए और जिन्होंने इस प्रकार का वक्तव्य किया है और उनका जो मजाक उड़ाने का एक प्रयत्न ये उनका मजाक नहीं ये पूरे देश का मजाक है और इसलिए उन पर जरूर कार्रवाई और वो भी तुरंत होनी चाहिए सिर्फ माफी से काम नहीं चलेगा इसके लिए जो है कानूनी कार्रवाई हो ताकि इसके आगे इन बातों की पुनरावृत्ति ना हो Enter a profession which is uh, in which people are involved. You must be aware of the fact that there is an element in which uh, maybe unsavoury things will be said, but you have to go for that. But on there is one final thing. I, I think there is a limit to in which you can't hurt anybody beyond a particular while, and I think that is important. Uh, you know, if you've said that, for example, Lata Mangeshkar is of an age, but do you really think hurting somebody like her would really, really mean something good? Uh, Sachin Tendulkar, fair enough. You know, he's a youngster. You know, and as well, jokes come and jokes go. But I think th there is a particular respect you give to age. There is a particular respect you give to at what level of of achievement is that person at, and therefore I think you must discriminate. Your last point, uh, with, whether they are Bharat Ratna or not, that. It, that, that I think it's individual. I think uh, the rule should apply to everybody, whether you are a common person or you are a Bharat Rat. I think uh, a right to dignity, right to not being uh, ridiculed beyond a particular level is a right everybody must enjoy. Because you know, a bad joke, a comment that is personal hurts people, hurts uh, your relatives, hurts your friends, hurts your children. And I think that is somewhere where uh, all of us must must refrain. Uh, you know, there is a freedom of speech, but you must refrain. Why should we hurt anybody? I think most often I have seen them crossing the line. I think you need to understand that such efforts uh, done by AIB is supposed to uh, tickle the funny bone, right? But uh, at the same time, you need to uh, respect the sentiments of others. 
most often i have seen them last time also when they were in controversy i mean i personally have no issues with them they these guys are doing good job and uh, i have seen couple of their videos on youtube and they're doing a good job but having said that they have to understand their limits you know and recently what they have done with the legends uh, like lata mangeshkar ji and uh, sachin tendulkar ji you know i think they have crossed the line uh, in a in a in a in a largest possible way so i think they should take it as a warning and i think any such uh, spoof or pun which hurts other sentiments and especially the sentiments of the legends you know we all look up to them you know and uh, such kind of pun is just not accepted and i think they should take this as a warning cricket ke duniya mein sachin tendulkar ka bahut samman hai aur lata ji ka bhi pure desh ke log bahut samman karte hain bahut aadar karte hain देश में किसी का भी मजाक उड़ाए लेकिन लता जी का और सचिन तेंदुलकर का इस तरह का भद्दा भौंडा मजाक का स्वीकार नहीं है वो बहुत सम्मान की दृष्टि से देखे जाते हैं इसलिए इस तरह की घटना आइंदा नहीं होनी चाहिए ये बहुत दुखद है लता मंगेशकर और सचिन तेंदुलकर ये भारत रत्न है और समूची दुनिया में ये भारत के नाम से जाने जाते हैं उनके विरुद्ध इस तरह की निंदनात्मक टिप्पणियों से भारत का अपमान होता है तन्मय भट्ट ने मिमिक्री के नाम पर भारत रत्न सचिन तेंदुलकर लता मंगेशकर जी का वीडियो अपलोड किया है ये मिमिक्री नहीं ये जान के अपमान करने का काम है हम कड़े शब्दों में इसकी निंदा करते हैं और मांग करते हैं कि मुकदमा दर्ज करके वक्त पर कार्रवाई हो बार बार एआईबी के माध्यम से बदतमीजी वलगैरिटी को बढ़ाने का काम ये कभी भी सभ्य समाज उसको मान्यता नहीं दे सकता है पहले भी जिस तरह फिल्म कलाकारों को जुटाकर बेहुदापन किया गया फहज तरीके से बातें बढ़ाई गई उस पर भी लोगों ने आपत्ति जताई थी इस बार भी जिस तरह से लता मंगेशकर जी और सचिन तेंदुलकर जी का इस्तेमाल करके जिस तरह से बेहूदगी की गई है उसकी कड़े से कड़े शब्दों में निंदा होनी चाहिए और मुकदमा दर्ज करके भट्ट को गिरफ्तार करना चाहिए Actually, it's very difficult to decide how much is too much. Yes, freedom of speech should be there. Fundamental right to speech and to expression has to be there. And uh, at the end of this, I would like to talk about myself and what happened to me right here in Bengal. Okay. But here we are addressing two or three issues. One is the uh, freedom of uh, speech and expression. One is the overreaction of the people, and one is the content itself as far as i'm concerned the freedom of expression and speech there's a time and place for everything and if you don't like something you don't have to listen to it i for one i'm a great lover of stand up comedians and i like them i i've heard him and i like the whole lot of them as long as they keep within their limit because i really do feel comfortable i, I really do feel uncomfortable with some of the language that they use i'm talking about myself mm -hmm. and so i have found that i because i am uncomfortable and everybody else is, seems so comfortable with that i just don't go for those where i know that it's going to be in that way i do believe there's a time and space for everything when you put something when you make a video particularly and put it on to the public domain or public social media i think then it's questionable i think it's deplorable the language that they use and in this case the language that has been used absolutely deplorable and disgusting it's not a question of being a bharat ratna or any anything like that that of course adds to the whole thing but it's a question of being personal i mean how how far can you go you know and someone like lata mangeshkar didi to all of us in the fraternity and sachin tendulkar what i mean what have they done to deserve this kind of conversation that is what i'm saying i think it's absolutely deplorable and it should never have been done truly 
it hurts me and I'm sure it's hurt a lot of musicians and a lot of people who are not in the music fraternity at all. I think it's basically hurt people because to talk about somebody who has reached a particular pinnacle and both of them and received the Bharat Ratna. As I said already, please don't cut that off. I, I think uh, it just comes with the rough and tumble these days. Uh, you, the stuff will be out there and each person will have to decide how they want to deal with it. You don't think it's something that needs to be sort of... Uh, because a lot of reactions coming, it's, it's, it's evoked a lot of reactions among people. Uh, I mean, do you think that's, that's sort of necessary or is it, or should we just treat it as a, as a joke and you know, move on? What's your, what's your take? I think it's easier to just move on. Um, I mean, it's a joke, people make fun, but I, you should be able to take it. Social media has always been saying, you know, once you play really well and they appreciate you, once you play, you know, you can't give your best, they say something. But it's it's in you that you need to give your best and you know what you are. So especially, especially like for me, I feel that, okay, I know what am I. So, you know, let people talk what they want, but you know what you are. And the people who know what you are do, really don't comment and they understand what is it because you know sometimes you may play brilliantly and sometimes it's not your day you can't do anything you give your best but then things don't work out so it's just that you need to know what to talk and what not to talk that's what I feel and um, I think you, you shouldn't really care you know what people say about you or you know you might feel bad sometimes but I, I think you shouldn't take really to your heart but then you should just let it go but so. This was a sort of this was an attempt at humor that that clearly you know sort of had its had, has has its its reactions on both sides you know it's become a bit of a bit, bit of a controversy you know do you think that I mean it, it's warranted does it does it really need need to become a controversy I think Is it, uh, I mean, too touchy maybe. <laughs> I think I have to not really comment about it because you know I really don't know what's happening in it and we don't know especially we are not really into it because we're not part of it or you know or so but um, I think I I really don't have that right to comment about it that's it. And Mez, wait, what are you saying? Talk about smiley things no? Tanmay also makes you laugh look at his funny videos unke videos bahut funny hai. Before one can make fun of even public personalities, I feel it is their responsibility to ask these personalities for their permission. And having seen this video, it's all a matter of a joke, according to them, which is perfectly acceptable. And that's the way it should be. My only reservation is there's a tad bit too much of profanity involved. And profanity does not go down well. And hence leaves a very bad taste. That could be the reason some people are feeling offended. Perhaps the celebrities themselves are feeling offended. So keeping with the spirit of humor, which one should never neglect, I feel it's totally okay to go ahead. But the artists here should respect, respect the celebrities who are even bigger artists and perhaps just cool down on the profanity. That, that's one no. solution. We do not have blanket permission to do whatever we want to. And like, for example, in New York City, you have Chris Rock, who's got diarrhea of the mouth, who says whatever he wants to say. He is abusing every second word. But I have never heard him say anything about say Mother Teresa. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So there are self inertia lines that one uses. And one uses an appropriateness, being an adult, mm -hmm. being smart, being intelligent. I always see stand-up comedy is a singularly most difficult thing to do. Mm -hmm. I've done films, I've done theatre, and I feel somebody else's script you know you can do whatever you need to so there's a way of saying things all right you know just plain abusing and talking and you know stringing your sentences and bad grammar doesn't make it funny this particular thing I'm talking about but does it need to be banned no no but similarly as we are given the right to be able to speak people are also got the right to say we don't like it now, first of all, I don't know who this guy is and uh, whatever he's trying to do, I think uh, it's not called for. I think uh, what uh, reason he made this and uh, and in fact, uh, you know, putting Sachin and uh, Lata Didi, uh, it's very shocking in fact and uh, it's not called for in fact. And I'm saying that uh, making fun, it's okay, humor is, on the, on the, you have a certain line, a line where you can't cross in India, especially in India. Uh, we are very, very um, emotional. Uh, we think about, uh, we are not 
in USA or you're not in we are not in UK where this kind of jokes are it's it's accepted but uh, looking at this entire thing and uh, was a little shocked and in fact when he uh, this guy in fact uh, you're talking like when he's talking about uh, Lata Didi I was very shocking because we look up to her and uh, now she's a Bharat Ratna and uh, like a motherly figure to us and we all respect her and uh, this kind of you know I don't know what this guy is trying to gain and uh, by taking this off and a lot of people will be uh, will be supporting him who likes humor but uh, I think it's uncalled for because I'm, I'm really I'm really pissed off at this so you've been mentioned at the start of the video as well do you think that's a pot shot at you and is it offensive to you as well See, for me, it's every individual. It is up to every individual because I take it as sporting, uh, sportingly, whether there's any humor on me or whatever it comes on me. But it's, it's just like to uh, like to ask uh, uh, whether Sachin uh, or Lata Didi has come out, uh, if they when they have come out openly or they has they tweeted uh, about their, if they, they like it or not. So it's up to them as well. So every individual. I'm uh, really uh, not shocked and surprised with the uh the way uh, our goddess uh, Lata Ji and uh, the icon of the country Sachin Tendulkar have been abused by uh, by AIB uh, group Tanmay Bhatt because this is what uh, I fought for uh, in the last uh, roast which they did and I knew that this was going to come uh, I am definitely pained uh, when I saw this video the way uh, Ladaji and uh, Sachin uh, Tendulkar have been abused in this in this uh, you know small video which we saw uh, in the name of uh, freedom of expression in the name of humor. First of all, who is this Tanmay Bhatt? Okay, for me, he does not really exist. People like him does not really do not really exist. Dusri baat, yar, most important, apni aukat mein raho, usko bolo. It's simple as that. You know, आप किनके बारे में बात कर रहे हो क्या बात कर रहे हो इसके आपको थोड़ी सी आ, समझ होनी जरूरी है यू आर टॉकिंग अबाउट पीपल स्ट्रगल्ड नेशन अक्रॉस बाउंड्रीज एंड यू डू नॉट हैव एन आईवर्ट ऑफ शेम इन यू टू टॉक अबाउट देम एंड शक्ति जी जस्ट राइटली मैंशन दैट यू नो इफ यू कैन टॉक अबाउट योर मदर आई डाउट इफ पीपल लाइक तन माई वर्ड कैन रियली डू इफ दे रियली रिस्पेक्ट देर ओन मदर I really doubt that, and I would like to say that you know if he's unapologetic about what he's done, um, it's really sad. It's it's very very unfortunate that he's trying to justify uh, what he's done. This is not comedy. This is not humor, my friend. And if you think this is uh, absolutely right, then probably this place is not for you. And I think the best way to best mm. best uh, way to deal with this is just stop watching their programs. Just ban them. Simple. Hata do inko yar. So you know, is that the best way? Rather than banning them, rather than hounding them, rather than trolling them, should we just you know control or delete? Should we just ignore them altogether? Should should we just, just say? Delete him. Just delete him from the system. I'm saying he will need not. Re I mean, if we know that someone is as disgusting as this guy. Hmm. Why would you want to go and watch it? See, it's, it's like you don't like a particular product. You don't go and buy it. You know, if you know that one place where food is not good, you don't go to that restaurant. Us gali me jana hai kyu jahan hai pata hai ki ye gandagi hai. But uh, how, how how do you let people know that what they have done is wrong? Because Tanmay Bhatt last evening he has put out another statement. He has actually asked people saying, "I put out this video. All those who enjoyed it, just send me a video back because I want to make a point about what I am doing." See, I am saying there are going to be more perverts like him who will probably like all this. But the majority of the population is disgusted by what he's done, and I'm saying the majority of the population should just delete him from their system. You know, God, see, that's the reason I repeat, God, hey, ye tan mai bhat, or isko itna importance kyu am log dein? Hata do isko system mein se yar, aukat nahi hai uski utni. Be because there are people, Shreyas, uh, you know, who are also looking at this and saying, well, this is a quick way to get popular. Let me just go out there, get into a controversy, that's, abuse that's a exactly, legend, yeah, abuse a legend, exactly. and then make a become an instant hit overnight. And you know, मेरी रोजी रोटी जम जाएगी, मेरी दुकान लग जाएगी. That's exactly my point. So I'm saying that ये this is two minutes of fame that they are looking for, and we should not really give them that. And then the point is, you know, in the long run, it's only legends like uh, Sachin and Lata Ji that have 
you know, uh, been there and we, we usually respect them and we worship them. Mm. So only those people who really worked hard, genuinely worked hard will remain. Not people like this, Tanmay Bhatt and all. Yeah, these two minutes are a little bit. 